Over time, we have learned what the essential things are that need our attention and our measurement. A few base things, which I'm sure you have encountered at some point in your experiences. Mm, they would be size or length, how long or how short. How do you measure length? Using a ruler or a scale? Now does everybody use the same ruler or a different one? We'll explore more on this in just a little bit, all right? For now, another would be time. In a given cycle of day and night, what fraction of it is taken for a particular activity? You do recognize dates and times from before, yeah? Good. Another would be quantity. Of course, you understand numbers and counting really well. That is a beautiful and straightforward measure of quantity. You will, as you explore science and math, find better ways to count than choosing simple counting numbers and natural numbers and fractions and percentages. For quantity, what I am speaking of right now is the other things that measure quantity. Like mass, going basically how much stuff is there in something. You have stood on a weighing scale at some point, right? Or seen a simple um, measuring scale, that weight measuring thing at a grocery store. Mass is nothing but how much of something is there. The more there is, the harder it is to shift it around. And hey, mass and weight are not the same thing. You will learn the difference between mass and weight as you explore science a little more. And then there's capacity or volume. How much space does stuff occupy? Mm, capacity is a tad bit differently from volume. We generally say that the capacity of this bottle is one liter of water because when it's filled all the way up to the brim, it can hold one whole liter of water. Now, what if I empty it and fill the bottle halfway through? The volume of water in the bottle is just half a litre. But the capacity of the bottle is still one litre of water. It can hold one litre, but the volume of water in it is just half a litre. Now if I ask you what the volume of the bottle is, not the volume of the water in the bottle, but the volume of the bottle in itself, you will have to look at how much plastic stuff of the bottle itself how much space is that occupying? Think about it. Ask mom and dad, right? I'll give you a clearer idea. Mm, actually, explore this. What exactly might be the difference between capacity and volume? Now, have you ever tasted freshly brewed milk that's kept in a thermos flask? From the outside, the flask, if you touch it, it's as cold or as hot as anything else that you can feel, right? But when you open the bottle, of freshly brewed milk and the bottle is a thermos flask, you can instantly tell that the milk inside is hot. And ice from the freezer, would you say it's hot or cold? It also has vapors coming out. That is a measurement of temperature, the degree of hotness or coldness of something. Now, what exactly is temperature? That's a beautiful mystery. You can think of it as how energetic something is. The more energy it has, the hotter it is. Mm, or at least the hotter it is said to be. You'll understand this a little better when you understand what exactly the energy of something really means in science. Energy in science is not really what the TV tells us, you know. It's the secret of my energy. Our energy. Things like, don't spend too much energy when you're playing, or eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, you'll feel really energetic. That's not the energy we're talking about. Hey, there's many other things to measure, all right? And all this, that's a lot of stuff, I understand. All these that I mentioned are called base measurements, things that you can measure directly. Now, there are other things you can mention, usually a combination of most of these base measurements. Right, they're called derived measurements. If you like this video and want to watch many, many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.